you're trying to write something and you're just thinking about all these technical things and the chords and melodies and oh I wanted this or that. And you go out into nature and nature just like it just sounds beautiful. It's not even trying. So it's like a great way to you know get out there, start climbing, you know, clear your head. Nature kind of has like a music to it. The natural pace of things is just like a lot slower and just kind of moves at the pace it needs to move. Rock climbing is extremely similar to playing music. similar in the actual execution of it, and it's also similar in the preparation that goes into it. It's about going outside of your comfort zone, ultimately kind of learning something about yourself. Most of my songs kind of break down to one, or, one of two things, either about the city or it's about nature. Jazz has historically been uh, a music of the city. Philadelphia has a super long tradition of greatness in all forms of music, especially jazz. We live in, in Germantown. Anytime I need to get in the city for a gig or a jam session, Kelly Drive is the, the road that I use to get into the city. I'm driving past Kelly Boulder, so it's an obvious thing to want to climb. Young man. Do you know the ways of our ancestors? This is a project I've been working on for a couple months now. It starts out with like a low sit start. The most difficult spot is getting from here to here. Initialize, cauterize, stop and go. Let the river flow through the mountains. Your eyes can't see it yet. I took my wife Jenny to a climbing gym for her birthday. So that would be like a fun thing to do. And we were both pretty instantly just like, this is awesome. I think it's been over a little over a year. Can you hear me speaking back through time? The process kind of both for rock climbing and music is very similar in the sense that you start out by yourself. Say you want to learn a new song, you want to write a song. Or if you're climbing, oh, that might be fun to climb, or I wonder if that's climbable. Over and over again, you break it down in little pieces. Sometimes it's too hard for you to climb. When you ask other people who have climbed it before, like, what do you think about this? It's very similar with music. All right, I can do this piece, okay, okay. Work on this piece, chip away at it, chip away at it. So much of composing is just kind of getting out of the way. Most of my successes were when I wasn't even trying. So nature and being in it gives you the chance to practice kind of that feeling of, of letting go. And then you kind of come back with your friends and you go, all right guys, let's, let's do this. <music> Climbing something or you're playing something, you're just in it. The consequences of a lack in focus are noticeable. It's not really like you versus the rock. The rock doesn't really care if you climb it or not. The music also similarly is indifferent to whether or not you can play it. You know, when I start writing something, I don't really know where it's going. And then every once in a while you write something and wow, where did that come from?
the reward is is the adventure. 